Hello everyone, welcome to the first visual experiment. In this experiment, we're going to study the rate of reaction between oxalic acid and potassium permanganate by the method of initial rate. We know that rate of reaction is often affected by a few factors. For example, uh, the concentration of the reactants as well as the temperature at when the reaction takes place. If one of the reactants is colored in this experiment, we can visually observe its initial presence as well as its disappearance as the reactant is consumed in the reaction. Also that, if the reactant and the product are differently colored, we can watch the reaction mixture change color as the colored reactant disappears and the product concentration increases. So the color of the potassium permanganate is purple. So when it's first mixed with the colorless oxalic acid, it's still purple. After a few seconds, the reaction will turn from purple to red. As the reaction proceeds, it will eventually form a complex product which gave you a yellow color solution by the end. The rate of a reaction can be determined as negative delta concentration of potassium permanganate divided by the time that elapsed for this reaction. Okay, so let's take a look at the actual experiment. And here we have, all right, let me move this one over. And here I have a burette full of water over here. I have two more burettes, one filled with potassium permanganate, another one is the oxalic acid. Okay? I also have a few test tubes on the side to obtain the required amount of the reactants. Okay? By looking at the procedure, in your first determination, we're asking to get 5 milliliter of oxalic acid into a test tube. I have the test tube right here, and then I'm first going to get the oxalic acid. The reason we're using burette is to measure the volume precisely. Okay? So, the, currently the burette is setting at zero mark, so we're going to obtain a five, about a, a five milliliter oxalic acid. That's 5 milliliter of oxalic acid. And then continue reading the procedure. We want to add 6 milliliter of the distilled water into the test tube with oxalic acid in it. So I have the water burette right here. I'm going to add 6 milliliter of it. Almost there, just slow it down. Okay, so this is what I have as oxalic acid and water mixture. Okay, I'm going to use the stir rod to mix it in the test tube. Okay, I'm going to set this aside on my test tube rack. I'm going to get my second test tube for potassium permanganate. It's asking for one milliliter of it. So the purple one is the potassium permanganate. Okay, just need a one milliliter. Since it's really dark, it's going to be a little hard for me to see the mark on the burette. All right, so this is one milliliter, okay? In the meanwhile, I need to grab my timer. So let me set my timer ready. We want to find out how long for this purple color 
to fade off, change to red, and then eventually get down to a yellow color. Okay? So, following the instruction, I'm going to add the oxalic acid water mixture to the potassium permanganate test tube. I really should start timing when I am halfway at the addition of the oxalic acid solution to the potassium permanganate. Since I'm the only one recording it, I will start my timer after I poured in the entire test tube of the oxalic acid into potassium permanganate. Okay? So, give me one second. So, I'll just count one, two, three, and go. All right? One, two, three, go. All right. Heat on the timer. Start mixing. Okay. Right now it's still purple. Okay. We'll give some time for the reaction to turn color. I really should hold it right here so that you can see a little bit better because I don't want to my body temperature have any impact on the temperature of the solution. Still purple. Be a little patient. I usually take a few minutes. Right now I'm about a minute and a half. As you can see, the purple is actually getting a little bit lighter. Oh, I'm a little tired. There's more color change here. This is the red. So we're gonna let go until all of your reactants are consumed so it will turn to yellow. Okay. We're getting there. Alright, stop. So, this will be considered the end of the reaction. It is 2 minutes and 54 seconds. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. So, according to the procedure, we're going to repeat this uh, with different concentration. And for each of these, we need to repeat it 4 times. Okay. So, and then we're going to take an average of the last time for each determination. So, these are run at the room temperature. Currently, the room temperature it is 23 degrees. Okay? So, and then, once you have determined the time for this reaction, take, for the reaction to take place, then you can calculate from knowing the concentration of potassium permanganate, 
this is the change of the concentration, okay? Divided by how much amount of time, so you can get the rate of a reaction, okay? From rate of reaction, you can solve for your x and y's, and then you can determine the reaction order, okay? This is the first part of the experiment. The second part is of the experiment is really um, the temperature effect, okay? So we're actually going to heat the reaction uh, to uh, an elevated temperature and see how long for these reaction will t to take place, whether it's going to be faster or slower for each temperature increment, okay? That will be it for this experiment. Additional experimental data will be provided by your section lab instructor. Hello everyone, I decided to demonstrate the rate of reaction at the elevated temperature. This is actually for determination number six. So the instruction asks us to increase the temperature about 30 degrees above the room temperature. So right now, the water bath temperature is at 55.5 degrees Celsius. Okay, I'm actually going to take this out. And then in each of the test tubes, I have already measured the required amount of water, oxalic acid, and potassium permanganate. Okay, first thing first, I need to add my water to the oxalic acid tube. Okay, just like this. This reaction will be done in the hot water bath entirely. Okay, let me get my timer, well, let me get my timer ready. Okay. Timer, timer, timer. All right. So again, I'm gonna pour in the oxalic acid into the potassium permanganate test tube, and then I will heat start, okay? Quick. I need to make it quick and then I should start timing and mixing immediately. Okay. My water level really should be a little bit higher in this case. As you can see, this is, has already changed to red and then to yellow. Like this. Done. Stop. Okay. So. The temperature that I have on my phone is 25 seconds. It's much faster than at a lower temperature.